We have two very special ladies joining us right now. 23-year-old Abigail Barlow and 20-year-old Emily Bear. They just, get this, they just took home a Grammy. I can't take it. It's for their album, the unofficial Bridgerton musical. And they did it all without the help of a record label. It's an incredible story. Check it out. Staring into my eyes. If this is to work, you must have been madly in love. In December 2020, Bridgerton burst onto the scene and had everybody buzzing. One fan, then 22-year-old aspiring pop star Abigail Barlow, posted a TikTok asking a simple question. Okay, but what if Bridgerton was a musical? I can't even drink champagne. Somehow, that led to this. And the Grammy goes to the unofficial Bridgerton musical. <laughs> oh, my God. After Barlow's post went viral, she partnered with then 19-year-old Emily Bear, a former piano prodigy who appeared on Ellen DeGeneres' show at just six years old. Wow. <laughs> the duo went on to produce the musical without the help of a record label. We were very, very frustrated uh, of hearing the word no a million times. So we're like, let's stop waiting for someone to give us that chance and just do it ourselves. <laughs> so. Emily and Abigail wrote what became a 15-song album playing in their bedrooms using just a computer and an electronic keyboard. And it sparked the creative minds of people everywhere. If this is what you call a honeymoon, pacing around our separate rooms, running from my elaborate rules, we're doomed. We want to thank everyone on the internet who has watched us create this album from the ground up. We share this with you. The goal? They hope to one day bring their show to the stage. I wish you were mine. It's like magic. It's magic. Wow. It's total magic. You're amazing. Oh, okay, when we said you won a Grammy, we just want people to know who you beat out. Sorry. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. Wow. Cameron McIntosh. Wow. Burt Bacharach. All legends. I mean, can you, has it sunk in? You have no. a Grammy award. No, it <laughs> definitely hasn't sunk in. And if I think about it too much, it, it just like feels like not real life. Yeah. What was the craziest reaction you got yeah. after winning the award? Honestly, I feel like, so when we were sitting there, we were the first award. Yeah. And when they were announcing all the nominees, it was like, nominated, here are the nominees. And then we were the last ones to be announced. And everyone cheered when they announced our musical. Oh, they did? And that meant the most because we were sitting in a room full of our peers. Yes. And it was like, I started crying. Oh, <laughs> oh and you yeah. guys ran up to, on the stage together. So now what? So you've got this Grammy. You guys are so talented. You have all this great content. I mean, everyone keeps wondering, is it going to make it to Broadway? So how, what happens there? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mystery. You know, like, Netflix gave us the blessing to release the album, and we're so yeah. grateful for that because... Well, Netflix needs to now put the musical on Netflix. <laughs> I mean, Ted oh, Sarandos, yeah. I know you're watching. <laughs> What's these late, like, what, what yeah. is the holdup? Do it. They know where to find us. Yeah. So, okay, so we're going to say. Okay. But we love you now. What <laughs> advice would you give to young people who are trying to break yeah. into the industry? Um, wow. Uh, I think what I've learned is that you can make really great art and not get the recognition that you want or deserve mm -hmm. at a certain time. And so I guess to keep... Keep loving the work, fall in love with the work, and you know the rest will follow. I think it was cool. You guys, like, you let people see the process. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't easy to do. And when you mess something up, you're like, no, nope, let's do it again. But you let people kind of get inside. Yeah, yeah I kind of feel like, you know, writing music as a whole is a very gate-kept art form, mm -hmm. and developing any sort of project on a large scale is also a very gate-kept art form. And like. We do it every day, so we know what it means to write a song and to build a project from the ground up. But I feel like the average person on the street has no idea no. what like it means for their favorite song to be created. Mm -hmm. So I think just pulling back the curtain and like showing you know the ugly and the the great things about mm -hmm. creating music is really it's magical. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah, and all those people who told you no. Can you imagine? You tried. You went to them. You're you're talented. Like what were they missing? Do you think? You know, I just, the industry is full of 99.9% .9 rejection. Yeah. And right. You gotta we be were like, just talking about that yes. earlier. Yes. Yeah, I, you just need the one person you need who the says one. yes. And, and in this case, we can't do it. We're like, together. 
her and said, yeah. Herself. But also, how cool that you were able to do this on TikTok, because the thing is, you were just doing your thing, right. Right? and then it started catching yeah. on. I mean, that's yeah. super exciting. Yeah, that's the most magical part about it, is that we found this, like, joyous, we've said it to you before, like, this joyous corner of the internet, and uh, it's only support and love, so. Yeah, and, and like, we had no expectations. And mm. also, you have this community, like, these people, they, like, made dances up. I mean, yes. they are all yeah. part of your thing. That's why I love that you kind of, like, thanked everybody who was part of your of your journey. Yeah. It's kind of everybody's prize. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what's next? I know you guys are doing things. I mean, I know you have <laughs> secrets, which are okay, but yeah. what do you, you hope? Um, okay, well, the thing about this whole experience is that it gave us, like, that instant credibility to the people that said no to us before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that feels you're like, good. we are <laughs> working here, on here. so yeah. many dream projects, yeah. like, so many pinch, pinch me, me moments over, over the past year, and it's like, our MO is sharing everything with the world, so it, like, literally is killing us to not say anything. <laughs> right. But it spans across TV and film and stage. Love it. <gasps> all right, well, we've all been right. cheering you on since the beginning. Will you all stick around? We'd love to hear a little music. Is that all right? That's yes, great. All right. I want to say I'm hosting a musical on TikTok tonight. <gasps> what? Oh, my God, you are. For you, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 But first, we're whipping up a classic Easter meal with the one, the only... Yeah, you know what? I uh, burned for Hoda. You did? Yeah, we got a special performance from the unofficial Bridgerton musical next. So earlier in our show, we met these incredible women, Abigail Barlow and Emily Bear, TikTok stars who recently added Grammy winners to their resume. And now they're gonna perform their song, Burn For You, off their album, the unofficial Bridgerton musical. And everything you hear on the album, the vocals, all the instruments, it is all you two. Yes. I can't even handle it. So where, tell us about the song you're gonna play for us. Where does this come from? Yes, so this song in particular is the two main characters of the show, Daphne and Simon. Uh -huh. And of course, you know, they've kind of planned this ruse to fool the, the court uh, of the queen. <laughs> uh -huh. And so, you know, now they're on their honeymoon and they're not talking to each other. But uh -huh. little do they know that they both feel the same exact way about each other, so. Oh. Hence. You know, it's kind of a, the enemies to lovers song. Oh, enemies they to lovers. They start out fighting Ooh. and then all of a sudden, you, you know. Are you guys watching the second season, by the way? <sighs> oh my God, please don't yell at us. Don't we yell at us, we yet. Yet. We are, You're busy coming. winning right. Grammy and doing things. <laughs> by the way, Hodes is not a yeller. She's not gonna yell at you. Yeah, I she will greet that. everything with love and a hug. She is an so let's establish it. <laughs> All right, ladies, you ready to perform for us? All right, the song is called Burn For You. Ladies, take it away. If this is what you call a honeymoon, Pacing around our separate rooms Running from our elaborate rules We're doomed Please forgive me your grace Can't even look me in the face And now I must lie in the mess you made It was your mistake You kissed me in the face I stole your face I stole your face No, I stole your face I don't understand. And now you're forced to love a man you hate. Simon. I know you don't feel the same, but I burn for you. You burn for me. I burn, I burn, I burn for you. I burn. She says she feels wonderful. From the mornings you ease to the evenings you quiet. I'm always thinking of you. I'm always dreaming of you. From the mornings till late in the night, it is you I cannot sacrifice. Look me in my eyes. i 
I'm yours, Daphne. I've always been yours. And I'm yours. Wow! Oh my god! Unbelievable! No wonder why you won the Grammy! Incredible! Oh, y'all are so wow. amazing. We love you You're so much. Amazing. So proud of you guys. Oh. I can't believe what you built, and we can't wait to see what y'all do next. We love you guys. The unofficial, unofficial Bridgerton musical is streaming now. All right, guys. Woo! We'll be back right after this. Watch it. Watch it.